Hello, my name is Shondell, and I am here with Sean Morelli, who's playing Slick in the 86th movie. How you doing, Sean? Doing good, thank you. <laughs> um, what do you like about being in the 86th movie most? Um, you know what, I like the, uh, the old heist films. I mean, I was a big fan of Ocean's Eleven, even the old uh, Rat Pack one, you know, back in the day. Yeah. With, um, so it's, you know, I've always been, you know, always been big on those. And um, once I read the script and I saw it, and it was, it's unique, it has its own little flavor to it. And um, I couldn't wait to be part of the project, so. Yeah, and what do you like most about being an actor? I think, uh, that's, that's a tough one. I'd have to say probably um, being able to create something that's not real and make it real to, to the audience. Mm -hmm. Whenever they leave, it's, um, it's kind of empowering. You know, you can make people laugh, you can make them cry, you can make them think twice about something. It's just, um, it's, and it's something different, you know. I mean, every time you're done with a project, it's, you start with something different and new, and it's new characters, new people. Mm. Um, I can't think of a better profession, honestly. So. Yeah. So, um, boxers, briefs, or commando? I'm going to have to go with uh, boxers on that. <laughs> Not a big commando fan. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. Anyway. <laughs> What's the most difficult thing about being an actor? Oh, the most difficult thing about being an actor? I'd have to say, um, gosh, I don't know. I guess maybe rejection. I guess rejection, you have to, have, sure. to have, have to have a thick skin when it comes to acting because it's not always just about you, you know. They say 70% of the time you're, you're cast before you say a single word when you walk into something. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you just have to be able to go in there and uh, do your thing and leave and try to forget about it, as tough as that is. But sure. uh, that's, I guess that's the best advice I can give to um, people getting into business, so. Okay, so <clears throat> say you're partying all, all night till 4 a.m. Okay. Do you prefer <laughs> Chinese takeout or pizza? Uh, well, being Italian, I'm going to have to go with pizza, most likely. <laughs> Even though I do like Chinese food, but yeah, definitely pizza. Uh, party all night or early bird gets the worm? Uh, if my mom's watching, early bird gets the worm. If not, uh, party like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of your mom, what's the most important lesson your parents ever taught you? I would think um, just be yourself and treat no matter who it is. I mean, in any level. Any, any walk of life, treat them like you want to be treated. And if you do that, I think um, good things come back around. I've always been a big, you know, advocate of, um, or been taught, you know, to basically do good things for other people, good things happen to you. Karma, God, however you want to look at it. Um, that's pretty much how I was raised, so it's okay. the best advice. Uh, Sunday morning mass or Saturday night strip club? <laughs> can I do both? Of course you can. Well, you there have you to go. go to a mass to make up for whatever. Yeah, exactly. What I have to pretty much repent come Cheetah's Sunday morning, night. but yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you personally so cool. um, hate or relate to your character? You know, I, I can relate to him a lot of ways. I, I mean, as I've gotten older, I've tried to uh, mature, mm -hmm. as, as you say. Um, but um, I, I can relate to a lot of that stuff. I mean, being a young kid uh, playing college basketball. Um, doing the whole modeling thing for Nike when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Definitely can, uh, can relate to that aspect of it, but um, it takes, um, I think as you get older, you, hopefully you mature and, and get better, but uh, I can relate to some aspects of it, definitely, so. So why should your fans come and see your movie? I think they should see it because it has all the elements. It has action, you know, it has comedy, it has drama, it has, you know, it has a little bit of suspense, you know, it's not, um, it has, you know, the little twists and turns that all good movies have. And I believe they're going to be entertained from the time they walk in to the time they leave. Yeah. So were you a stud right out of the gate, or were you the were you one of those uh, late bloomers? I was definitely a late bloomer. <laughs> definitely a late bloomer. <laughs> I was expecting you to say I've always been the stud. You see no, I'd like to say that, but I definitely <laughs> would be lying. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what do you think about the director of '86? Don't worry, he's not looking. Oh, he's not looking. Okay. Actually, um, he, he's a good guy. He's got um, he's got really good vision. That's the first thing that I noticed about him whenever you know I met him, and uh, he's definitely passionate about the project. Um, he's looking for any any way he could to make the project better. Any input he could take, any you know outside things. And um, from the time that even I became a part of it till now, it's it's just progressed and just became this whole entity and in, in life of its own. And um, and it's, and it's just due to Christian basically because you know it, it started off with his little small pet project and it's grown to this. To this uh, to this big movie now, and uh, and if it wasn't for his uh, desire to sit down and start writing this little synopsis and start the whole thing off, it wouldn't be where it's at today. So you know, thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> so um, if you were at a party, would you be more drawn to the shy, quiet type of woman or like the life of the party girl? 
You know, it really depends on uh, what's going on. I mean, it's I've been drawn to both. I mean, believe it or not, I've usually always been the kind of guy to kind of sit back and and just kind of see who comes up and starts, you know, initiates conversation, I guess. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess it really depends on the girl. Everyone's different, so I mean, you know, I, I've been I've been drawn to both. So I guess it's. Uh, don't be shy, but if you are, it doesn't mean I wouldn't uh, come talk to you anymore. <laughs> so you can be hot and loud or hot and quiet. It's all well, good. yeah, hot. Well, I don't like it too loud. Hot, maybe <laughs> a little loud, maybe. <laughs> so I notice you, but not one of those like, oh, God, please just sit down and shut up. And yeah, that's not hot. I don't yeah. care what you look like. So, Sean, who's your favorite actor or actress? Wow. Um, I'd have to say... Probably a tie. I mean, I've always been a big De Niro, Pacino fan. Mm -hmm. um, they rate up there. I mean, but then again, you know, I mean, that's just like, I mean, Brad Pitt. I think is great as a great actor. There's, Me too. there's so, so many really, <laughs> yeah, <I> bet. <laughs> yeah, not too many arguments there. there. There's so many good up and coming people. But I mean, I, I guess I always grew up with, you know, always being a big De Niro, Pacino right. fan. So that's, um, I'll stick with him. Yeah. And what's your favorite movie? Wow, that is a tough one. I mean, I like so many different types of movies. I mean. I don't know that I have one specific movie that's my favorite. Um, I mean, I love comedies. I mean, I love action. I love um, drama. There's not, I don't know if there's one in particular that I could say that I, that I like the most. I mean, besides 86th. Of course, that's your favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite, too. So if you had a superpower, what would it be? Wow. I think to be able to uh, be invisible. That would be cool. Why? I don't know. I think maybe because you could be invisible. You could walk into a room, hear what people say about you. You walk in the girls' locker room. Um, not that I ever do that, but just think, you know, it'd be cool of to have that power. Not. I don't know. It'd be cool though, just to be invisible, to be able to go anywhere you want, and just um, kind of be on the down low, and no one, you know, just sneak in and out, and just uh, it can be kind of empowering in a lot of ways. I guess. All right. The Invisible Man, invisible Sean Morelli, playing Slick in the '86 movie.